Hi everybody and a very warm welcome to Susanna's Kitchen. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and thank you for choosing to click on this video. So we make everything in the Ninja Foodie here and Christmas is no exception. Of course, I don't expect you to be making a whole Christmas dinner for like 10 people using just one Ninja Foodie. But these recipes aren't just for Christmas Day. These recipes are for the full festive season. So I've got you covered with everything from party nibbles, starters, main courses, desserts, drinks. I've got the full works going on this December. So I really hope you enjoy these videos. Don't forget to give me a like below and subscribe to my channel as well. So today's recipe is an exclusive cookbook recipe. I've got a brand new Christmas cookbook that I have just released over on my website, which is www.susannaskitchen.uk. So go over there and grab yourself a copy. Now you don't need to worry about saving this video for today's recipe because there'll be a QR code in the cookbook which will link back if you do want to watch the recipe video again. And all my recipes are so super achievable and of course really delicious. So I hope you enjoy today's Ninja Foodie recipe. Let's go and start cooking. So here we go with our beautiful Christmas pavlova and we're going to start by breaking our eggs and dividing them into egg whites and egg yolks. So take an egg in here you just want to go either side like that and save the yolk and then all the egg whites are in there. Some people do it through their hands and use their hands as like a sieve. Either way, it doesn't really matter how you do it. And of course, we're going to use our Ninja to cook our beautiful meringue. And this is a really great method. Now, this recipe is exclusive to my brand new cookbook which I really hope you enjoy. And I know you're gonna love this recipe. It's a real party pleaser. If you've got friends and family coming over and they see this, they're gonna absolutely love it. So egg yolks to one side. Of course, you can use these for something else. No problem whatsoever. We just need the egg white at this stage. Now I've just brought in my food mixer because there's absolutely no way that I'm doing this by hand. You're a much better person than me if you can do that. We need to get the egg whites whisked until we have stiff peaks. And now let's whisk them up. Whilst we're getting the egg whites to a nice stiff peak, we're gonna measure out our sugar. As you can see here, they are coming up lovely and fluffy and thick. I don't think it'll be much longer before these are really nice stiff peaks and we can start adding in our sugar. There you go. As you can see, the meringue is just holding together really nicely. Hard to show you with this, you get a spoon. Look, like this, okay? That's where you want to get it to. And then I just mix in the sugar a little bit at a time until it is really beautifully glossy. So just a little bit at a time. It's so easy to make a meringue, but it looks so effective. And at Christmas time, I just think that this is a must have dessert. Even for New Year's Eve, this would be wonderful as well. You can see how it's changing it and it's making it super glossy and shiny. It looks completely different from just adding that sugar. And the very last thing to add in is a little bit of lemon juice. Now you will need your Ninja Rack because we're gonna be cooking on that. A crisper plate or something circular that's gonna fit onto here. This is part of the Ninja Bakeware set. Um, the, there's a link over on my website. I've got a full accessories page of everything I use. So if it is something you're interested in, then go and check that out. But that is absolutely perfect for this recipe and so many others. Then grab some greaseproof paper, parchment, cut yourself out a circle and lay that on top. Now I like to get my meringue and blob around the outside, I suppose is the only way I can describe it. It's gonna be a bit slippy, isn't it, with this? Let's try and even it out. There you go, should stay in place now. 
Yes, blob your meringue around the outside of your circle. Oh my goodness, this looks so beautiful. So glossy. So this is what your meringue will look like higher around the outside and then a little bit lower in the middle section there. You need to lower your meringue into your ninja and let's close the lid and get that on to bake. We're almost coming to an end of baking our meringue. And then the interesting thing is that we then go on to dehydrate. This is quite an interesting process, but it works so, so well. I think you're really gonna enjoy the texture of this meringue. So let me show you what it will look like when it is finished baking. It's got a tiny bit of color on there. As you can see, the center part is still nicely dipped in. And we've got those peaks around the outside. So let's get it on to dehydrate. So the dehydration process has finished. Let's open up the lid. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks so nice. Now I like to finish mine off with a very quick air fry. Just gives that little bit more color. Obviously you could leave yours here if you want to, but I'm gonna give it a quick air fry. Perfect, we've got a great color on there now. That looks just as I want it. All I've got to do now is leave this to cool. In here, I have whipped together cream and I've put a naughty little bit of brandy in there. You can use rum if you prefer. And we've also got some icing sugar in there as well, just to sweeten it up. Now to make this nice and Christmassy, we're going in with some mince meat. And we're just gonna fleck that through. So I'm gonna get a spatula and I'm just gonna stir that through and make a delicious Christmassy cream to go on our meringue to create our pavlova. Look at this, oh yes, that looks incredible. And now we are ready to assemble. Here's a close up of the pavlova topped fully. We've got those orange segments, We've got pistachios, we've got chocolate, mint, a little bit of orange zest and that beautiful cream containing the brandy and also the mince meat.